Today, on Maundy Thursday, we're thinking about Jesus washing the disciples' feet. And once again, Peter's making a fuss and drawing attention, so we usually end up concentrating on him. But think about this. Jesus also washed Judas's feet. It's not until verse 30 of John 13 that John tells us, as soon as Jesus had taken the bread, he went out. And there's that wonderful phrase, and it was night. So Judas would definitely have been there. And we have to assume that when Jesus began to wash his disciples' feet, verse 5, that that meant all his disciples, including Judas. I didn't know about you, but when I read the New Testament, I'm so often surprised by Jesus. I know I shouldn't be, but he always seems to go marvellously beyond what I expect. Now, we all know the story. We know what is about to happen. And John reminds us in verse 2, The devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. And it's not just that we have the benefit of John's hindsight. Jesus knew exactly what was about to happen too. He knew that he would be betrayed to death. And in verses 26 and 27, he revealed the identity of the person who would betray him by giving Judas a piece of bread and saying, what you're about to do, do quickly. Yet still, Jesus went on his knees before the seated Judas and washed his feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. What must that have felt like? for Jesus? What must it have felt like for Judas? And I think that Jesus is still washing the feet of his disciples. Now obviously he can't do so physically as he did with Judas and Peter, but if you were a follower of his, Jesus wants to meet you and he wants to wash your feet this Easter. And it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you've done or what you've not done or what you plan to do. Jesus wants to wash your feet. And at some point over the Easter weekend, I'd encourage you to set aside a few special minutes in your quiet time. And you may want to use a bowl of warm water to add a physical dimension to your prayer. But ask Jesus to come. Ask him to meet you by his spirit. Ask him to wash your feet. And I believe that he will come and meet you in a beautiful way. And I will leave you with the sting in the tail. Verse 14, now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. And as we've had our feet washed by Jesus, as Jesus washed Judas' feet, there is no one whose feet we might not need to wash. Have a very happy Easter.